The farm families that own Cabot are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Well, we have to wait for the actor because he's milking the cows. That's you know. what makes you unique. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger. We are here in Waterbury Center, Vermont, at the farm of George Woodard. Oh, boy. George Woodard is an actor, a filmmaker, and a dairy farmer. Yes, sir. <laughs> what the heck? Mom Black. Come on, Red. This year, he's celebrating the 100-year anniversary that this dairy farm has been in his family. It's uh, not an easy thing to follow me around. I know. Are you going to be moving all over the place? <laughs> I am. I know. <laughs> Smells like grass. Exactly. Run through the machine. <laughs> These being the machines. They worked hard all night. You believe me? What were they doing all night? Making milk. She's going to be in one of my movies. I know, you have to give me a um, tip where to stand since you've got the filmmaker eye too. So now I'm gonna go over here. Over there? Yep, and put that machine on that cow. Oh, good, I'm gonna get low. So have you ever estimated how many cow cheats you've um, massaged? Would you call it massaging? <laughs> now comes. <laughs> Put up a sleeve. <laughs> Years. You don't even think about it. Just go do it, you know? It enables your mind to think of other things. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, get up. Ah. So we just got done milking. And um, this farm has uh, been in my family for 100 years. This year. My grandfather come across on the Titanic and bought it. No, he didn't really. God, I almost fell for that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, good for you. Oh. My grandfather was working on a farm over on another hill over here. They bought this farm in 1912. They had five children. My father was the third. They sold the farm to my folks in 47. There was four of us that were born, and I was the third. I was a good one. We grew up here. And we had an awful good time. I was not a very good student in school and wasn't sure what I was going to do. And my mother asked me, said, uh, well, did you ever think about running this farm? In the mid-70s, we bought a bunch of heifers, a bunch of calves, raised them up. And in 75, the cows started to freshen. That's farm talk for going to have a calf. We started shipping milk on December 1st of 1975. And here we are. We're still here. Where the heck did 37 years go? <laughs> and if I hadn't had my brother and my father and my mother, it wouldn't have happened. It just wouldn't have happened. Because they were all there helping, and my younger brother too. None of them were showy people, but they were pure Vermonters with strong backbones and strong ideals. I'm the lucky one that keep that right now gets to keep it going. So I, I just have a lot of pride in, in my family and this place here. Now they'll go where they're supposed to go and I don't have to follow them. Isn't they're that nice? On their way. That's a smart cow. <laughs> when I was in high school, my senior year, I decided I was going to do as much as I could. So I decided to be in a couple plays. And it just all of a sudden I realized, oh, this is really good. So that's kind of where that started and it just never stopped. In 83, I decided to go to California. I was out there for about three and a half years and just did a lot of stuff. I got a lot of parts in front of the camera. I did some stage work. I had friends that were student filmmakers at USC. It was interesting because the whole thing was kind of an education for me. If it can be done out there, it can be done here. The other thing I realized out there is just because you're living in Los Angeles doesn't mean that you're good. Well, for one day, then I can I do what I got to do. <clears throat> got to haul them logs to Mr. Hale. We ain't finished loading them yet, Ethan. I'll take them when we've loaded. Now, you were sitting at a table mm -hmm. with some pretty famous actors. Yeah. I didn't know who any of them were. I don't know who Liam Neeson is. Patricia Arquette, I didn't know who she was. No, they didn't know who I was either, so we were even. <laughs> <laughs> I was milking one morning, and my wife came down to the barn and said, they want you there now. So I get there on the set down in Groton, 
every grip person and person I walked by was just grinning from ear to ear. I thought, what the heck's going on? And Joan Allen says, so are the cows going to be all right? Hi, Ralph. I think it's a, the passion of the whole thing is I love this farm. It's not a flat farm, it's a hillside farm and there's lots of different places where the beauty is, and that's something that I've always recognized. It's the visual of things. I mean, even when watching Gunsmoke when I was a teenager, I knew who was directing it by the style of the shot. The opening shot, shot of Gunsmoke in the, er, the mid 60s just give me goosebumps. But the filmmaking thing was kind of something that was, I just wanted to try it. I think instead of just doing assignments, I think I'll make like a, a storyline that goes through the whole thing. So I shot Henry over on the tractor. He was five years old, you know, just kind of playing. He got the little bear there and stuff. And when I decided I'd try doing Walter Hacks, Jerry and Smart was the producer. We started writing it together. We started shooting in 2004. Boy that plays Walter Hacks was Henry, my son. The other little shorts I made, he was kind of a pro by the time we did Walter Hacks. Last weekend, George Woodard performed at the Hyde Park Opera House for a sold out show that was celebrating their 100 year anniversary. You think the lights attracted them? <laughs> he said, no, but then we'd be even. <laughs> okay, let me pick somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's a gold name, brother. What do you have for come back here? The hanger down. <laughs> and when I stood up, my britches was so full of broke drop, a button popped off my suspender, flew up, and killed a partridge. <laughs> Vermont only rhymes with what you want. <laughs> From Vermont, I do what I want. <laughs> oh, we gone and had a farm. It's the 100th anniversary, the Lamoille County Players are 60 and I'm 60, and I was born on the day of the first audition of their first production. I don't know if I really was, but that's what I tell people. <laughs> it doesn't get much more of Vermont than George Woodard. We'll get stuck with you again real soon. You hang out in a barn regularly on the weekends? All the time. <laughs> well, so you ask how, me, how I do all the videos. How do, you, how do you do this every day? This seems pretty grueling to me, getting up every morning. And I don't get up early, though. This, well, to me, this is very early. 7 o'clock is early? Yeah. Catch disease well. I never seen them on their knees, crying mercy, mercy, 